Hi, David Thompson here from roundattack.com and when you're stuck at work or on a friend's computer and you your files aren't on there but they do have internet access how do you get your files? There is other ways of doing it but if you want your own personal operating system well they're called web-based operating systems. They are not an operating system which is a full operating system with, where it has Windows files in, an installation directory, a command prompt, but it is a cloud operating system on the internet. You go in your browser as long as you have Microsoft Silverlight, DirectX, X, Flash, Java installed, it will work perfectly. So, I'm going to be going through my top 8 and the best one overall. Just please stay tuned for the rest of the video, and I will see you then. Here is the first one. It is called Silvios, Silvios.com or WindowsForAll.com as it used to be known as. So, this is a Windows Im imitation operating system completely web based and it has lots of Windows 7 imitated features of course not as fast or as good as a full operating system as it is running in a web browser so what web browser you have will have a great effect on this and the speeds so if we start off on the right here we have a place where you can write some notes so hello world there you have a calendar where November 2010 and there you have the current time so here is your desktop you have a file explorer which you can double click you have an internet browser media player notepad another notepad RSS reader paint games Twitter Flickr YouTube and all sorts of stuff like this. So here is what the file explorer looks like. You have a C. Favorites temporary. So it does imitate C O S C my documents and a recycle bin. It even has my computer. So to get access to this, I'm currently signed in as a guest. But if you create an account completely free you will be able to save, upload, download files within this graphics user interface. So here's a funny looking start button here, or what imitates the start button, and here we have a somewhat lookalike Windows 7 start menu. As you can see, it is a bit buggy, but here we have start search so we can search things like in Windows 7 log out power off lock which then features are available forums install program control panel my documents my computer and there as I am currently signed in as a guest so you've got all your programs here games accessories they are categorized so it is a pretty nifty online operating system down in the right hand corner you have time and date in the same format as Windows 7 has it here is one of the games chess so it is fully operational and playable so I'm not a chess player so I don't really know how to play it so this has come as number one stay tuned for the rest Next is an operating system called Glide OS version 4, which is the current version. So, this is very individual, it's not like Ubuntu, and it's not at all like Windows. So, this has 30 gigabytes of free storage. You have got to sign up for this, as it says there Hi, Rounded Tech. So, you search the web there. So, this is free and you get 30 gigabytes of free storage with it so the G drive which is the glide drive click the open you get bookmarks, documents, video, music and photos 
so you do got this is a pretty good source. You got calendar, email, engage, meeting, photo edit, write, which if we open it up I will show you once it's opened up. Groups, you can have your own profile, presence, crunch, the cube, 3D social media, search, and my website. Here you have customize where you must be able to customize your settings so customize desktop you get to change the current theme see stretch display mode so we can change the theme to fire fire air water winds so they are based on types of weather changes so as you can see there's a little clock up on the screen at the moment as it changes the theme. So I'm going to click done. Done, done, done. And here we have it. A nice new theme. So it is a very graphical interface, so it does look very nice. Here we have the time. It reminds me a lot of the Ubuntu Netbook Remix version. So here we have the text writer where we can type text and stories whatever we can edit it with the features there bold so we'll turn that to bold just very basic editing as a comment you can insert media engage the document email meeting about the document and groups so it is pretty useful for on the go so this has been glide os4 just been showing it to you and please stay tuned for the next one it's called astron os link will be in the description as always and this one does indeed have a dock across the bottom where there's notes Bugzilla chat. So this is the first one which I've noticed which has a chat an AIM. Email, RSS, on track, storage, calculator, Google, and home. So from what I can see, there's no office, there's not many applications, just a calculator and some games up here. And down there is the log out button. So from what I can see, this is a very basic operating system. It is graphics interface is great. It's user friendly. It just needs a little bit more detail. You do have to register for this one, which is quick and simple, like all the others. Please stay tuned for the final operating system.